So okay, today we are going to discuss the layout board entry storage control. Okay, we, we will see, we will uh, try to uh, give us some uh, business case, you know, uh, where we can use the layout board storage control and how to design and implement and test it. That's what we focus today. Okay, the layout warrant storage control is the same as the like, you know, process warrant storage control. O only thing is like, you know, uh, which one we have to use it, whether you want to use it layout oriented or process oriented or combination of the process warrant storage control and uh, layout oriented storage control. Okay, so ha, when we have to use it, um, POSC and when we can use the layout oriented storage control, how we can use a combination of POSC and uh, LOSC, okay? Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So um, as you know that, Emma, right? So um, in a POSC, we have covered, we have, we have captured as uh, a complex uh, movements uh, from unloading and uh, uh, even moving the item uh, goods from uh, staging area to deconsolidation, even deconsolidate, we have, uh, we did for like unpack and repack, then we moved it to value added service, then final put away, okay? So that's what we have done it. But the only thing is like, you know, the layered warranty storage control, and it may not happen direct. For example, you want to do, as soon as you unload it, you want to put away directly into the final storage bin. It may not possible in the layered warranty storage control because all, can you hear? Can you hear now? Yeah, now we can hear. Okay, sorry guys. Okay. Yeah, um, sorry, I missed uh, some other things, okay. We, today we are going to discuss the layout warranty storage control. Okay. And um, so we will understand, okay, when we have to use a layout warranty storage control and um, and how is it possible for us the combination of the process warranty storage control and uh, layout warranty storage control. Okay. And um, so always like, you know, the, uh, uh, depends on the business requirement, whether you, you want to go for POSC or you want to go for layout warranty storage control and the combination of that. Okay. We will, we, we are going to uh, discuss more on this today. Like, um, so, I will give some business examples, like, you know, um, can I include a layout warranty storage control in my existing um, complex inbound process? Okay, okay, if I want to include it, where I can include it? How I can include it? Okay, why business need uh, to do, uh, to add it? Why can't we do in uh, POSC? Okay, so these are the things we are going to discuss today. And, uh, so as I said, like, you know, we have, we have already um, uh, discussed past process warranty storage control by capturing a complex inbound movements, unloading and deconsolidation and the value added service and final put away, okay? Um, in a PYSC, the possibility is like, you know, as soon as unloaded, I can move directly uh, the goods, the handling units directly into put away, okay? So even I don't need the consolidation, I don't need the value added service also. Directly I can unload it. Then finally I can move it into the final storage location. That is a, um, a POAC it works. Okay, whereas the layout board storage control, the same option is not at all there. I mean, same, um, same uh, um, movements may not be there. I Means so like when I unload it, I cannot move my goods unloading goods from staging area to final put away, okay? Because it has to go through intermed point. Otherwise the layout warranty storage control, it may not is going to work for us. That means, as I said, POSC is a possible when unloading, directly moving from staging area to final put away. But whereas the layout warranty storage control, as soon as unload the goods, then the goods should undergo some intermed point. That means some intermediate work center. Maybe it is a labeling center or repacking center or whatever you name it, okay? Some, or conveyors you can see in terms of the MFS, okay? Some, so if I want to put away, final put away into final beans, the product or handling needs 
undergo through the intermed point before going to the final put away. That is the difference between the uh, POSC and the layout warranty storage control. Okay. Um, just I will uh, show a couple of um, pictures. See, this is a like, you know, a late warrant control. As you know that MRA, as soon as you unload the goods, finally you move it into racks. You can use a POSC or simple inbound. It is going to work for us. It goes from GR zone directly into hierarchy. But if I want to use the layout warrant storage control, okay, the product means the handling units should undergo there is an intermed point. That is intermed point, as I said, either it will be work center or it will be conveyor or anything, even as a lift also in say some other case, for example, mezzanine area, okay? Where you have a ground floor, first floor, second floor. See, is it possible for us to use the forklift, am I right, for that case, to move products? So, so may not possible, only the lift. So that kind of instance, that kind of um, instances, you know, we can use, um, I can, as soon as like, you know, value added service, we have done it, instead of for like doing final put away, in case my products is going to the mezzanine location, assume that my products are going to the mezzanine location. Mezzanine, as we discussed, is a ground floor, first floor and second floor. Definitely forklift person cannot go there. So, there I can, I can as soon as a value added service, then I can move the products to the intermediate point. Maybe you can say the uh, any, any pay point where I want to wait it for, means I want to wait. I want to label it, means I want to um, uh, uh, some kind of like, you know, I can do some certain activities, okay? Then, then I will move the products to the first floor or second floor. Then from there, um, the product will go to the... Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Final bins. That's, uh, that's where, you know, you want to combination of the process warranties control and as well as the late warranties control before final put away. Then you can, in, can, you can always, if you want to be more complex our inbound process, even the NVOSC, I can bring LVOSC, okay? The where we are as soon as a VASM, right? As soon as we complete a VAS, then it proposes to the, our bins to the final bin. Instead of that, what I can do is I can include one more uh, using LOSC. I can do some intermediate point. Then I will move from VAS to the intermediate point, from intermediate point to the uh, direct into the final storage location. So there I can use the layout warranty storage control. Okay. And also, like, can I use purely layout warranty storage control? Yes, you can use. Uh, Pure layout warrant is control, okay, for especially in a MFS systems, okay, especially in a MFS systems where material flow system because it is automatic robots, am I right? So here I cannot I cannot use a POSC. Instead, I go for LOSC, okay. Any any automatic uh, one, am I right? Okay, MFS systems they use LOSC. And they define uh, because a lot of conveyors and everything is there. So they define LOSC. Using LOSC can perform all M MFS activities. Like, you know, uh, even if receiving goods. See here, we have forklift guys that brings the handling unit and then he drops the HU, HU. Then it goes to conveyor. So this is going there. As soon as it approaches here, then Automatic robot, am I right? Yes, sir. Advanced um, means automatic storage, or automatic retrieval. So as soon as approaches the handling unit close to this, um, mechanical equipment will arrive here and it picks the item, then it will place into the um, final bin. So see everything, like if I want to, especially LOSC is a benefit for, if I want to define conveyors, conveyor points, like, you know, conveyor point, this is the, starting point, this is the end point. So if I want to define, okay, for example, once unload, this is the GR area, okay? From GR zone, then the product should go to the final bins. The product good goes final bins, but before going to that, the product should undergo ID points, like first here conveyor, then it cross to the here, then finally 
into this location. So especially uh, layout LO is the um, extensively used in a layout warrant uh, in um, MFS systems, material flow systems, okay, for uh, automatic storage and automatic retrieval systems. Okay. Whereas our traditional uh, um, warehouse, okay, where we can do, as I said, like, you know, we have done uh, as of now with POAC, we have unloaded. Uh, this is all the staging area, you know that, and uh, the product goes to here or the product goes to here because the forklift, see, I can access even this high racking area, forklift. See, there is a forklift for us in there. So always I can access this one. What happened this one? You tell me, can I access this forklift? No, I cannot access a forklift now here. That means when you receive the product, same concept, assume that we are doing complex, right? Say once unloaded, okay? So you do all the all the activities, whatever you say, deconsolidation, bass. Then, if I want to move here, system is I I have a received one HU, that product is going to here, okay? But to reach here, the product the product should undergo, okay? Uh, maybe you can say um, whether it is a, any conveyors or anything, okay? Or if I want to go my products to here. So then I can use the combination of the POSC and uh, using the LOS. That means I will define this is the uh, as a conveyor. Then I define one other point here. This is one 